how to add admins on your Facebook page. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to add admins on your Facebook page. If you want to invite a team member, if you want to invite your managers to create a successful business on Facebook. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you're going to actually go to facebook.com and you will create your own account. If you already have an account, then you will create your own business page. So I have this business page right here. You can see this is my a page and on this page what i want to do is i want to add different admins i want to give access to other people as well to create ads and they will be able uh, to uh, access the meta business suite for this page this comes in really handy if you have a team if you want to collaborate with your team and if you have a big business then you definitely need to add uh, different admins so how to do that you're gonna open up your page and then you're gonna click on meta business suite it will open up the Meta Business Suite for you. Meta Business Suite is our hub that gives us all of the different tools for our business. We have our business feed, we have content, we have a scheduling uh, option available. We have our events manager, ads manager right here within our Meta Business Suite. So once you get right here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on all tools. And after that, you will click on page settings you can see right here we have manage page roles instagram and whatsapp connections and more and different people associated with your page so you're going to click on page settings and it will take you right here these are the page settings that we can do and in page settings we have page access this is the one this is where i will be able to add admins so you can see page access manage and view access so first of all i have people with facebook access now, this is me right here. You can see I created this page and I have the access to page deletion, permissions, content messages, community activity, ads and insights. And then we also have people with task access. So I'll show you how to add an admin and how to add a manager or a team member as well. So to add an admin, you're going to click on add new right here. So you can see Facebook access means you can switch into the page and manage it directly. Any action can be taken on this page. We can even delete the page uh, with this access. Click on next and now you have to enter the email address of that person. You can also add their Facebook and once it's added, then you will be able to see the access they will have. Content, create and manage or delete post from my Facebook page. Messages, they will be able to send and respond to messages as the page. Community activities, they will be able to review and respond to comments, remove unwanted comments and more. They will be able to create and manage ads and also check out the insights to this page. If I want to give them full access, this is the admin access that we give to a person. So they will also be able to delete the page if they want to. They will be able to remove people and even me from the access. So this is the admin access that we can give. Click on give access and an invitation will be sent to them. So to give an access to a new person, you just need to confirm your Facebook profile password so that, for instance, you add a person and they start adding different people. So for that, for security reasons, you need to confirm your password here and click on confirm. Once you click on confirm, that person will be added as an admin and I can add more than one admin on Facebook. Adding an admin means that they will have full control and full access. Then there is another um, you know, role and we have community managers. So we can add people for task access, not the admin access. So for this one, you will be able to see community managers, moderate chat comments, suspend or remove people who violate community standards and see all admins of this page. Click on add new. This time you will be able to see they have this uh, access right here. Basic access, not all. Click on next. You're going to select the person. Once the person is selected, then this time I need to choose what are the different accesses that I want to give them. So we have content. If I want them to create a content, I will give the access. They will also have the access to messages and community activity. If I do not want them to create ads and check the insights, then I can leave these options. So when you're adding a person, a manager, then you will allow a specific access to them. Or if you're adding a admin, then they will have a full control. That's the main difference. Click on give access. And again, you will just enter your password here. Click on confirm and a team member will be added right here. This is how we add admins and managers to our Facebook page, our business page that we have so i showed you you can access this by going to your meta business suite and then you're going to click on page settings and it will take you right here but you can also access it directly from your uh, page let's say i'm here i don't need to open meta business suite i can directly go to the settings right here and it will take me 
to the settings and privacy of my page. So you can see here we have it. And here you need to first select new page experience. This is the option. New page experience. This is the option that gives you the page access right here. We also have page management history here. We have page quality, page recommendations, advanced messaging, and other options. So in page management history, you will be able to see all of the different actions that have been taken by people who manage this page. So if I am an admin, I'll be able to check the different admins, what they are doing, what are the different filters they created, and how they're managing the page. So with Meta Business Suite, we get access to all of these different tools, and it gives me the freedom to actually check everything and add my team members too. Facebook really upgraded itself when it comes to business suite. And we have this, uh, you know, option to add people and to collaborate with our team and manage our business better. Similarly, I can do a lot more settings when it comes to a new page experience. We have page quality. So here I will be able to check my different recommendations. We have manage admins. So here we again, we have more about your page and here we have manage admins again now this is another way to access the uh you know page um, admins how you can go to new page experience click on page quality and it will give you the option of manage admins click right here and it takes you to manage and view access so there are different ways to get right here the first one is actually going to your meta business suite click on, on all tools click on page settings and it will take you to manage and view access the second way is going to your page on Facebook, click on settings, it will take you to new page experience, click on page access and it will take you to manage and view access. Then you can also click on page quality and here we have manage admins and this option will again take you right here. So this is where you can add admins. Uh, when it comes to deleting an admin, let's say you have added more than one admin, but you want to now remove them. So click on these three dots and you have the remove access option. This way, any admin can remove the other admin if they want, and they can also remove different managers. If you want to manage them, you will get the manage option here. Click on manage and it will show you all of the different uh, managers and people that you have added to Facebook. You can invite different managers here. Click on add community manager. And again, the process is going to be similar. Uh, you can invite people to this page by just adding their email address here and an invitation will be sent to them. You can add people with their Facebook account as well. If they already have Facebook, you can uh, enter their email address or you can directly add their Facebook and the invitation will be sent to them and they will be invited right here to your page and they will have the access to all of the different tools that we get in Meta Business Suite such as the content creation, we have manager, uh, we have our planner, we have ads reporting, we have insights, appointments, ads, again uh, we have audience, event manager and more. We can also switch between different pages right here in our Meta Business Suite. You can see I have more than one business pages, so I will be able to switch between them. Now, keep in mind that each page can have its own admins. For instance, I want to add new admins to my this page right here, then I will be able to actually do so and I can give access to them for this page and not this one. So we can keep it separated. If you have different teams for each page, then you will be able to manage them better and create different admins and add different managers for each page. You can see I have more than uh, one and I will be able to then add different team members. We also have our main business account and we get these settings for it. Uh, you can also click on the audience setting and click on people to access the um, a manage and view. But once you get here, now you know how to add a an admin and more than one admins to your Facebook business page to manage it better and to collaborate and get more productive. This brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.